Hey, what's up guys? I'm back again. Got a new project I'm starting because I am waiting for stuff on the EE3 to be delivered. And so I just gotta keep moving. I got time and I got projects to do. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, let me show it to you. Okay, here it is. If you haven't guessed, this is the Hoth electro binocular um, you see Luke and Han use them you see uh, rebel troopers use them um, and then I got all these parts here now this is actually uh, Ian's and I'm gonna be putting it together for him um, I really want one of these kits for myself I love this prop um, I think it's so cool but there are some things that got to be fixed on uh, this casting um, there's some little holes and stuff mostly it's on this piece um, some non-fills there and there um, there's a few of them around there's one right there so things like that I need to correct um, there's like supposed to be a hole through here and it's kind of half filled in um, this side didn't fully get formed and so I gotta drill that out and put some more putty and stuff on, on the little tab there kind of reshape that um, just little things like that um, all over the place. This will be on the inside. And, um, but anyways, it's still a pretty cool prop. I think all the little pieces are fine. Um, but um, some of these, or this main piece, this big piece, of course, is so doing something this size is a lot harder to uh, mold and cast. And so you got some non fills and things like that, and bubbles or whatever you got to deal with. And anyways, that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on filling in some of these little rough spots and uh, getting it ready for uh, paint. Okay, what I'm going to use is uh, Abe's um, epoxy sculpt. It's a two-part um, um, like putty and it's non-toxic which is nice unlike um, certain things that are popular to use uh, not that this isn't popular it's actually pretty popular um, I like this stuff um, this doesn't smell <laughs> you just take equal parts Maybe a little bit more don't need a lot and just mush it together I'm gonna fill in these uh, mold holes where they inject where the uh, resin was injected and then there's a few other like ridges on the other side that I'm gonna try to fill in there's like a little thing right there too I might try to fill as well doesn't take much Figure I can start this and let it cure, and then I can sand it down while I'm waiting on parts for that E3 to come in. Yeah, there's a non-fill right there, not a very big one. I don't know if I'm able to get this stuff in there. It's like a teeny tiny little spot of it here. This little spot here. this stuff around and we're gonna have to sand it later if 
feel like I could just pop this out, like, yep. This one, that's a bit thicker. <laughs> that still needs more. I don't think that's going to be enough. But we're going to stick it on anyway, because I've got some right there. We're ready to go. All right, we gotta let that dry. That's gotta cure up, and it ought to be good to go tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna let that um, sit up and dry uh, for one full earth rotation. And um, it's just sitting right back there. And uh, I'm gonna come back to it and shape those areas with a file and sandpaper and um, hopefully they'll turn out good hopefully that Aves epoxy sculpt will stick to that resin um, I've never had a problem with it sticking to things in the past but uh, you never know I've never tried to stick it on something that's resin like that um, it'll be interesting to find out because I know a lot of people use Bondo and um, I've never use Bondo, it doesn't scare me, it's just I, I know that it's a toxic thing, you should probably wear gloves and use like a stick to mix it and things like that, so um, I don't know, I'm, I have no experience with it, maybe I'm totally wrong, maybe there's different kinds of Bondo, um, if anybody knows, educate me, please. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be back in one earth rotation. Whoa, <laughs> I'm back on the other side of the earth, well, really the same place. Um, yeah, I'm going to check out and see how this hardened up, uh, all the, the fills I did, um, see how this uh, epoxy sculpt is sticking to the resin, see if it's going to hold up, and I'm going to hit it with a little filing and sanding just to see how it performs. Um, I may still have to get Bondo, but hopefully I can use this, and then uh, I've got a couple other putties and um, primers that I can use to smooth things out. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. Yeah, that still seems a little soft, actually. It's been 24 hours. That should have cured up. See, now that one's hard. Huh. Maybe it didn't get mixed as well. Oh, that's constantly kneading it. See, that one's soft, too. That one's a little bit harder. Huh. I guess I'll let that cure up even longer. That and these two. Um, this that is mostly hard. I'm gonna let it sit up longer because I'm gonna have to be pretty rough with it through this part and shaping this edge. So and it doesn't hold as much. You know, it doesn't have as much around it to hold it. So um, that part. It's going to cure up even more before I touch it. And then there was a little bit there which feels flush. I filled it in pretty good. Cool. That That is done for now. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to do a little cleanup on some of these parts because they've got, you know, like flash and 
just mold marks and things like that they got to be trimmed and uh, cleaned up um, actually a lot of these holes for screws are clogged up oh that one's real bad see see that that guy right there It doesn't even have holes. It's supposed to. tabs hole, but I'm not sure that I want to do that at the moment. Alright. a hole on this side now this is the hole for the strap so they can wear it we're just
just going to file open, smooth it out the rest of the way. There we are. Now Ian will be able to wear it. So these still feel a little tacky, um, uh, just a little bit soft still, but I think I can work with them now. Um, whereas the other one that I'd, uh, other ones I should say, there's a few spots I sanded and smoothed a couple nights ago um, are, are still rock hard where I don't know why these are not. Um, but I think they're okay to work with. I think I can shape them just fine and maybe the, when, once they're thinner, they'll dry out and harden a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. Um, really there's like, let's see, one, two, three, four, and I don't think there was anything on here that I had to fix with, uh, with that I saw. Nothing I added. Um, anyways, I want to get these uh, shaped and uh, let them cure up. That way I can put a little bit of primer on them. Uh, the primer will reveal if there are any irregularities that need to be sanded or filed um, to get the shape correct and smooth again. Um, it's a little hard to see when it's like three different colors, you know, like you can't tell if the profile is exactly right. Um, so it just I just want to get it to a state where I can be, I can confirm that I don't need to do any more filler work.
that's so much better. So it's a lot more flat and flush. This side looks like it's sitting just a touch high now. It might be ever so slightly warped. Well, maybe not warped. It just needs to be made flush. Oh yeah, I can see uh, there's like a high spot here, here, here. And also, this is maybe a little warp in it, possibly, or maybe it just needs to be flattened. I wish I had a bigger belt sander. Yeah, this has got a, there's like a hump here. I don't know if that's gonna pick up very well. But there's a slight raised area, like right around here. And probably this is a little raised, I can see. So, looks like I need to try to flatten this out. That's pretty good. Let's try this piece again. So you can see the uh, high spots because they're getting more friction than the low spots. I gotta drill some holes for these the screws that are gonna go in these places and and then here I gotta um, put some screws and I don't know if I should tap them or not resin a wood screw in theory would work I just don't want to have it crack on me I did see this. There's a there's a little gap right in there. Let's see, I can pop this out. primer action here. primer around on this um, so I could see if I needed to do a little bit more sanding and I do need a little bit more here and a little bit more here I can still see where it's raised up just a bit um, I kind of figured I'd have to some of these spots I'd have to hit again this one however looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with how flush that is 
I'm, I might round these edges just a little bit because I've kind of made them a little sharp, but um, uh, it's flush now. It's not raised up like this, which is it's really hard to see. And then I also kind of just threw some um, primer on some spots that I was kind of worried about, like they had weird discolorations and I just want to make sure that they're smooth. So like there's a little weird spot like right here. Um, I'll probably sand that smooth. There's some like little tiny fine holes in here that I can fill in with some other uh, fillers that I have. Um, there were holes around edges and things like that or little weird spots I was worried about. Um, so I just threw a primer on them. Like there's a bunch of little tiny holes right here. This one, uh, this side is shaped pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. I might take the a, a file into that corner a little bit. Um, and this same thing on this side, I might do a little bit on the in the corner there to flatten that out, make it a little bit more of a sharper angle. And then I found a hole I didn't even see right there. It's kind of, it's not huge, but it's gotta be filled. This one, not as good. Um, gotta do a little bit more shaping and I've got a, a fingernail um, depression there. And I got a lot more in the corner here I gotta deal with. So um, just a, checking on little scratches and things I saw on the surface, making sure they're not um, going to cause a problem. This side I did primer. This is the side I was kind of sculpting. Um, and it looks pretty good. I, I need to do a little bit more a little bit more filing down in here and I got to chisel out this stuff right here and kind of reshape that hole, which I don't know exactly how I'm going to pull that off because it's so close to here. And this is such a long shot. I can't like just drill it out. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I'll figure it out. And then this has got a bunch of little little tiny spots on it. Um, nothing terrible though, really. There's a few holes like right up here. They need some little tiny filler on them. There's a weird spot right here that looks like a... I didn't fill, but somebody filled some holes here. There's a non-fill right there in the corner, which is going to be hard, and then there's one way back there. Not quite sure how I'm going to get at that one. Um, yeah, pretty good other than that. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, no, it's not a huge start. Um, I'm kind of doing this in between the EE3 um, while I'm wrapping that up. I'm still waiting on a couple parts for that, so that's why I've got time for this one. Um, and. I know it's probably not like a huge project, but uh, it's still gonna be interesting. I don't see too many of these, so um, I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Um, I really wanna get one of these kits for myself. I think it's a really cool prop. You see a lot of uh, main characters have it. Luke and Han both carry it. Um, and then you see a lot of background characters with them. And I do know that there was more than one. Um, I don't know exactly how many there are, but I did find a shot in the movie that showed uh, two background characters both with them, um, so that's kind of cool. There's uh, several out there. Another thing is it's in The Mandalorian Episode 5. You see that new bounty hunter. He's got one, and, you know, I'm not going to spoil what happens, but just know you see it in that episode. Um, it's a little bit different, though, just a little bit different. Um, but it is the same electro-binocular, I believe is what it's called. Um, so anyways, that's going to be it, and uh, check out the blog. I'll have a post on this, propchopshop.com. Um, I'm sure I'll call it like Hoth Binocular or Hoth Electro Binocular, something along those lines. Um, anyways, uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>